Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you depending on the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 26 I give you my heart at this time. I also give you all of my possessions and my entire existence. I'm claiming your word too. I also give you this prayer of seeking the Holy Spirit by relying on the word you have given us. In the Bible, you have said that if we ask anything according to your will, you will hear us. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 And so because seeking the Holy Spirit is something you have commanded to us to do, I'm confident this is your will. Also believing in your promise that whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. John chapter 6, verse 37 I come to you with a prayer to seek the Holy Spirit. Please accept me and answer my prayer. You have also said that if you then you're evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Relying on the words of this promise and guarantee that the Lord Himself has spoken, I earnestly pray that the Holy Spirit will work with me. You have also said whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John chapter 7 verse 38 you have said that the river of the living water is the Spirit, whom those who believe in Him are Him are to receive. John chapter 7 verse 39 I want that river of living water and the Holy Spirit to overflow within my heart, because you have promised the Holy Spirit given to those who obey Him. Acts chapter 5 verse 32 I want to always live obedient to your word. I earnestly ask your help so, so that I may live in such a way. I also believe in your word that to walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 Please help and guide me so that I may follow the Holy Spirit and not realize the desires of the flesh. I want all the words written in the Bible about the Holy Spirit to be fulfilled in my life. Give fully to me the Holy Spirit that I need for this day. I believe and thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit, for I have sought Him according to the Lord's will. And in the Bible you said, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Romans chapter 5 verse 5, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17. I believe and am thankful that God's love has also been received. I desire for the Psalter's confession to become my confession. I love you, O Lord, my strength. Psalms chapter 18 verse 1 May the Holy Spirit always enlighten my heart so that I may love my fellow human beings with God's agape love. And may the Holy Spirit give me the power to do so, so that all the children of the Lord may love their neighbors and live together as one family. And I believe that the purpose of the Holy Spirit in our lives is to add power to spread the gospel and to change our character like our Lord. May the purpose of my life to be delivered the gospel by relying on the power of the Holy Spirit and to change my character. There has been no fruit so far because I have tried to do this by myself. Now lead me by the power of the Holy Spirit so that I may live a life of the saints who bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for breaking the power of sin in me through the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 13. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. Thank you for protecting me from sin and the sinful world today and saving me. I beg you to save me from my old sinful habit. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 Please protect me from evil angels and from all temptations. And to all I meet today, may my words and deeds be faithful witness of our Lord. I believe you have already answered my prayer for the Bible says, And if we know that He hears us in the whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of Him giving thanks, praise, and glory to the Lord for answering my prayer. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.